up guys and welcome to episode 4 of Toti's Last Stand. The series we're going to be trying to win a Champions League and a Serie A title in Francisco Totti's last season of his career. Um, now we're taking on Inter in easily the biggest match of the Serie A so far. And unfortunately one of our best players, Nainggolan, is out injured. So it's going to be even tougher than it already was going to be considering how bad I've been doing in Serie A. So let's go ahead and see who I can put in this spot. I mean there's Vainker who isn't exactly a great player. I mean, he's a 77 rated guy um, and that's pretty much all I can do maybe Paredes might be a little bit better uh, I, I'm not too like confident in either one of those players but I don't really want to mix up the the, um, the formation I have right now because it's been it worked pretty decently in the last game against Porto so I think it's gonna be a, a solid formation to go with so I'm gonna go ahead and try with Venker just because he has a pretty decent rating um, and yeah if it doesn't work I'll just put in I'll put in uh, Paredes and see if maybe that's a little bit of a better fit. But other than that, see the team's going to be remaining the same. For Malin, I was considering changing him out, but he got to go in his last game, so I'm going to go ahead and leave him there. All right, here we go. All set for the first major game of the City Out season. Right now, I'm sitting in 13th place with only six points. Inter, if I'm not mistaken, are in like fourth or maybe fifth, something like that. But they're doing much better than I am. And just overall, this is going to be a tough game. We're playing at home this time, so there's not going to be any counter-attacking, stuff like that. Not going to be sitting back and waiting for them. I'm going to be trying to go after them as hard as I can. To try to get try to get the three points, because I desperately need to catch up to these big boys if I want to have any chance whatsoever of competing for that top spot. Strootman! Perotti! Oh! I was already celebrating that shit. And it's no no at halftime. Not not been a great half, I'm not gonna lie. Neither team's really done a whole lot. Uh, Inter haven't created a single chance that I, that I can think of, except for maybe one really early on. I've created a couple, but haven't really done much either. So boring first half. Yeah, see zero shots from Inter. I've only had two. One only one was on target. So let's go ahead and try to get this win. Uh, I have a feeling that if I go a bit more offensive, then I could possibly go out there and get a result. But I'm not gonna go too far unbalanced because of the fact that if I do, then Inter's counterattacking with Perisic might just cost me and uh, cause me to lose. And we'll see if Perisic signs from United because Inter have to make 30 million uh, euro in about, like what, another few days. So yeah, there's a good chance of United signing him. He's a pretty good player. And uh, we'll see what happens in that story. Also, Benega might be leading Inter too, so let's see what he can do in the game. And then a whole lot. Good football here from Rome. Passing it backwards. Find Strootman. Ah, just clamp it. We'll keep the ball in space. And Inter are forced to clear it now. This is it. This is where the pressure starts to build on. This is where we start to fuck them up. And then that happens. The fucking AI throws it to the wrong direction. I was literally pushing to the left. And that happens. Perotti. Finds Juan Jesus. Good football. But not quite able to find that last pass. Probably should have struck it with Totti. But unfortunately I blew it. Juan Jesus with the cross. It's a good one too. Finds Jekko. No, how they were finding it. Not quite able to find Bruno Perez to hit the strike. De Rossi has got to track his man, but Ivan Perez is just way faster than him. I think that's tackling now. There we go. No, oh, he still wins it over. Good chance for Icardi. And oh, that was very, very close to being a goal. Inter on the break just showed right there why I have to be worried about him and why I can't slack off and, uh, and put, too, put too many men forward. You know, they're, just, they're super dangerous and can fuck me up at any time. Okay, so with Totti dead tired, I'm kind of forced to make a change. I'm going to put Perotti behind the two strikers. I'm going to put El Sharawi, a winger, as my left forward. I'm going to put uh, Salah, unfortunately, as one of my midfielders because I don't have anybody else I can put in there. You know, I use just about everybody. There's not a whole lot I can do. Uh, I'm hoping that he's not going to be too exposed defensively, but I'm also going to be hoping that his, um, that his uh, counterattacking is going to be helpful there. Uh, unfortunately, Juan Jesus is also really, really tired, but I don't have, I don't, I can't tell, I can't take him out because I need Dirossi off because he's super tired as well. Um, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to, I'm going to leave Dirossi in, and I'm going to put in, yeah, I'm going to put in, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put, I guess I'll put in Rudiger there. No, damn it, I did the, I did the wrong thing. Alright, I'll put Rudiger, no. Nah. Yeah, I'll put Rudiger there, and I'll leave Vermeulen at center back, and hopefully this will be a fresh enough team to really turn things around, turn the tide. And shut out, we have plenty of pace. Can he beat Santon? It looks like he will be able to. He's gonna cut back, put it across towards Jekko. Hope we can finish it, and he does. No, corner kick. 
my loss is there. But so is Salah. Salah on the line. What a save on the line from that defender. Wow, I was so close. That was the chance of the match so far. But here's another chance. And Shalawi not able to get there. Here come Inter with the Kagbi. Making a ton. Oh my god. Make that last dash. Oh. What a save from Chesney. Thank God he's there, because he's been saving me plenty of times this season. I don't like much of his keeper, but he's been saving me so many times. And here comes the corner. It's, okay, it's well defended. Jekko has to keep us, has to keep the line up. Oh, oh that was a foul. That was a foul. If not, I would have been easily starting a brutal counterattack. And Jekko's injured, too. Look at that shit. The referee isn't doing me any favors here. Can this counterattack work? Ooh, Salah almost takes his leg off. <laughs> and then El Sharawi finishes the job. It's gonna be a yellow card without a doubt. That was a very dangerous tackle. No, not even a card. I wasn't trying to do that fast, but unfortunately there was just nothing for me to do there. Couldn't couldn't get anything going. Got that one strike on the line. <sighs> Disappointing result. I was hoping for a win. Uh, I, you know, all these games are must win now, but I can't seem to get anything over the draws. I guess at the, at the end of the day, looking at the stats, it was a very close game, you know, the same amount of shots. I only had one more on target, but I definitely was the closest one to scoring with that shot. I mean, it's just, I, I don't know if they have to replay here, because that was so fucking close. I mean, just goddamn, it was so damn close. Yeah, they don't have to, they don't have to replay, but... And for some reason, I have now been offered the Spain job. I mean, like, a guy who's sitting in uh, 13th place in Serie A and who has won, I guess, a couple Champions League games, why the fuck would I be getting offered the Spain job? Like, really? There's nobody else there. And I'm, listen, like, I'm not a humble, <laughs> I'm not gonna be humble and be like, no, I don't want this job, but like, are you fucking kidding? Thankfully, this doesn't happen in real life, but I'm not gonna take any jobs because I've only won this one season. Now there's two huge matches on the way. There's a match against Napoli, which is a must win. Two teams that do not like each other, two cities that don't like each other. And then after that, it's against New York Red Bull Salzburg. Another must win game in the Champions League. If I win that, then I'm all pretty much guaranteed to be going on to the next round. And most probably being the top team in the group, which would give me a better chance of taking on a smaller team, so possibly even getting to the quarterfinals. And if I do win that quarterfinal as well, then I'm going to be well on my way to getting to, you know, the later stages, maybe even, maybe actually reaching the final. Because if, like I said so many times, dude, the main thing I want to do is win the City Out. But if I can win the Champions League, that will be, if not better, then at least just as satisfying. So let's go ahead and see what I do against Napoli. It's going to be a very tough, tough game, but I want to see if, if Nain got on his back. I don't think he is. I don't remember how long his injury is. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be a while. Yeah, we're going to see him and both out. Uh, so yeah, I wasn't too upset about Van Camp. He actually played a pretty decent game. Overall, the team was actually pretty good. So I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be making any changes. Any changes. Uh, Inter was just a good team and defended well. And here we go at the Stadion Olympique, which is definitely the very least sounding name you can give a stadium for Napoli. I mean, their name is their stadium is the San Paolo. One of the, that's a massive stadium, but it's really, really fucking garbage. It's completely destroyed. Um, and yeah, the Stadion Olympique is definitely not the same thing. It actually does kind of look like it though, so I will give them that. It's a little, it's, it has a little track, and it actually does look like it's decorated pretty similarly. But I mean, come on, they could have given it a better name. Like, just give it a Stadio Classico, we'll do anything. And here we go, kicking off in one of the most hostile environments in the league for Rome and just for just about every other team. They don't see, tries to find Perez, does a great job right there. Uh, Jekko dishes it out to Totti, who gives it over to Perotti. Over to Strokman. Great movement right there of the ball, losing it out. Strokman tries to win it back though, isn't quite able to. And Vanket has to do a great, has to do a job. And now it's up to Juan Chesos to catch up to Callejon, who puts in a pretty decent ball to be fair. And it's, oof, Napoli, that's exactly what Napoli is going to be dangerous at right there, you know. Shots can come out of nothing. They have plenty of attacking power, and it's going to be very dangerous if I don't seem to be able to man man mark every single one of them because they're such a dangerous team. So so fast on the break. Good job, Chesney. Easy work to be fair. Vinker. He's making a run. I'll give it to him. Totti finds Pirotti with a great pass. Who cuts, shoots, and it is one nothing. Yes. Perotti, ever since he started, ever since I started using him as a starter, has been changing this team, making it a much more balanced team and just having that much more pace. Him, 
alongside Toti is just one hell of an offensive trio because Toti can find a pass out of nothing. He has the precision and the technique to do some amazing things and Toti showed right there with his pace and with his technique and his finishing. He is a very, very big player for this team. And to be fair to him, he has scored a few goals. I think he's got an assist or something like that too. I haven't scored many of them, but I think between him and Toti and Nainggolan, that's all the goals I've got and one mana loss. No, Vermeulen, I think it was, not my loss. Ah. It also has got to make track back a bit more. Manalas does well. Ooh! 1-1. One, one. Shit. Good move there from Napoli. And Vizayi, I think it is, scores. Gets it, makes it 1-1. One, one. Trash ass player, but. Oh yeah, Cabellini. That's Cabellini. He doesn't look anything like that, Vivini. What the fuck? Looks nothing like that. I forgot that he's in the game, I didn't update the roster so I don't have to go outside my house. <laughs> that sucks, but this is what it is. Jekko turns his man well, beats him, so he him there for dead. Jekko on the first! Oh! And Strootman! Yes! What a goal from Strootman! It was not easy at all, and that doesn't look anything like Strootman either. I mean, Rome have pretty much half their players don't, look, don't actually look like them. I mean, look at the strike from Jekko. Great strike, to be fair to the guy. Off the bar, and Strootman with a lot of technique right there doing something that's very difficult. On the volley, pretty much bounces it off the ground, but keeps it very low, and right at the edge of the post, manages to slip it past the Verena. What a goal. And 2-1 one, one, uh, one up. This. I cannot afford to lose this league now. I have to be a lot more solid in defense, which isn't exactly my strength right now, especially with Rome, uh, and especially against a team like Napoli. You have so many offensive players that you don't really know uh, when one's gonna pop up. Even their midfielders and the defenders are pretty much constantly bombing forward. I use all my players to get back. Good tackle there from better. So immediately trying to just, just fuck these motherfuckers, all right? Just foul them, take out their legs, do whatever you have to. Don't get a red card, though. Don't get a red card. Do whatever you can within the limits of a yellow card. To, hey, if you have to, injure one of them. I don't give a shit. Oh, another chance. And thankfully, Chesney doesn't do something stupid like he would have in real life. I'm gonna try to dish it up there to Jenko. Greatly done there from Chesney. Topti tries to fight Pirotti. On the chip! Ooh! Probably should have kept it a little bit easier, but I think it was offside anyway. No? I don't know. Maybe not. No. I definitely should have tried something a bit easier, but I was hoping to, to just try a little a little Tokti esque type of thing and pay homage with even if it's not with him, do it do something awesome with one of the Rome's young players. And easily stops them rare. Chesney. Oh, what a shit pass from Chesney. Look, thankfully Manolas has been a monumental defender for me today in this match right here has been doing a great job keeping in that bay when he does cut in. Vermeulen, ooh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That was a good goal. Well defended. It's not gonna be easy for anybody to get there, it's how far off it went. But no matter what, keeping them at bay, that's the big thing. Great tackle, great tackle. And here we go once again. Good job, Jekko. Totti with a great ball to Strootman. Pirotti not quite in enough space. That's a fucking foul, ref. Come on, man. They keep on taking me out, stopping my counterattacks, and this isn't fucking fair. If I do not, I'd probably get on the yellow card. I mean, I don't. I just don't understand, like, why FIFA cheese actually influences what referees do. Like, I get it, all right? You want to make the other team better than you? That's, well, that, that's, not, that's not fine, but it's better than having the referees actually favor the other team. It's just fucking shit. I mean, let me know in the comment section down below if you think that those two things that I've said were fouls were actually fouls. Because in my opinion, you didn't touch me either time. And that should have been a foul. And possibly even a yellow card both times. Jekko, if he can keep the ball right here in a very, very dangerous spot, he loses it out. And it's still not a foul. Ah, thank you. Thank you, fucking referee, huh? Thank you, you dumb fuck. Give me a foul for once. Probably have to give him a foot job or something. Just get a fucking foul around here. Ooh, off the top bar. What a strike from Vermeulen. And from far out, yes, throughout the keeper was definitely was definitely uh, gonna save it if it was lower, but still, I mean, look at that. Damn it, everything they found a ton of space. Luckily, he doesn't really have that, 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 that blistering pace that's gonna screw me over in that situation. Dolti finds Pedolti again. He has more pace than Alviol, takes it forward, 
I would have struck, ah, just a bit too high. Left foot clearly isn't a specialty, but at the end of the day, he's been creating a lot of problems for LBO and Kalimba Olivia. Uh, not Kalimba Olivia, excuse me, Kalimba Olivia. Oh, there he goes, he wins it. Go, 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 yes, 3-1. Pedro hits a double at Napoli. What a player he's been showing to be for Rome. Uh, Jekko, guy who hasn't gotten a single goal, at the very least, he's been participating in some plays and stuff like that, celebrating with Pidotti. Look at that, great tackle on Cody Buddy, probably on the edge of being a foul, but considering all the shit that, that Napoli's been getting away getting away with, I'm not going to complain, especially because, you know, fuck Napoli. Fuck Napoli is like one of the most, uh, one of the most commonly things said in Italy because nobody likes that damn city, nobody likes those damn people, and nobody likes this fucking club. Pidotti once again absolutely mugs him off and he's going to be too quick for him. That's right, baby, too quick. And he's gonna get his hat trick. And he blows it, holy shit. That was atrocious right there. Opened his foot so much, look at this. Look at this shit. Look how far he opened his foot. It was essentially a pass. Wow, that was just trash. I did exactly the same thing I did both other times. So that's completely AI driven mistake. I mean, what the, what the fuck is that? Oh, did also gets completely owned by Gabbiadini there. So did, I think that was Vermeulen. Great tackle from Strowman, making him look like a fucking bitch after owning his teammates though. Jacko can find Pedotti, yes he does, chip him, chip his ass, chip his ass, oh. Alright, I've tried two chips with him, uh, unfortunately the one worked out, but at the end of the day, I mean, let's, let's look at how beautiful this was. Hashtag king. Pepe Reina is actually going up there, this is a great chance to get a lovely little phenomenal chip over there. Throat money yeah, running too slow. <laughs> Look at Pepperina running for his bald life. <laughs> Ugly ass little bitch. Tote. Tote. The strike! Surely! No! It's Not a goal head yeah. from Tote. Another bot head. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Alright, so after uh, a pretty decent game at Napoli, which is shockingly one of the only two games I've won in Serie A out of like seven or eight now and against one of the toughest teams I've played. Actually, it's the toughest team I've played. Inter somehow managed to keep me at three shots. Napoli couldn't even stop three me. Three shots? So, yeah, Napoli couldn't even stop me from shooting three times and probably should have gotten four if Pidotti didn't decide to just pass it out to the corner flag one-on-one with the keeper. So that's kind of a bum move, but he got two goals. I'm not going to complain there. Pretty decent performance from the lads. I'm just going to piss off Yaku over here. Let me see. Let me see. Three shots, seven... Shots for Napoli. Overall, just a great performance, and Pedrofi has to be the man of the match. But also, can't really be complaining. You know, Totti had an 8.8 because he had some great assists. I think he had two assists. There we go. And just overall, the best performance from Rome so far. And uh, yeah, going into the third game, which is against Salzburg, going to be a massive thing to do. Uh, have to get that win because that will pretty much guarantee me first place in the group and uh, will be a massive thing of me possibly making it to the semifinals as well. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, please subscribe to the channel, please share with any friends, uh, and um, yeah, hopefully to see you guys in the next video where we'll be taking on Salzburg, and I think there's another massive game, but we'll be seeing what to do there. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.